God does not only transform the lives of some of His children, He transforms the lives of all His children. You say, you're saved, show me your works. You're justified before God, show me that you're justified before men. If you really are justified before God, are you justified before men? That is the question. Alright? The grace of God should inhibit us to be judgmental. But speaking the truth in love, we are to grow in all aspects into Him who is the head, even Christ. Now, how can a person who's been staying for many years in a prison cell, receiving all the pain, emotional, spiritually? How could a person who experiences all these things, the Apostle Paul, can say these words that you should speak the truth in love? Exhorting the believers who are outside the prison cell and telling them to speak the truth in love. We're not being persecuted the way the Apostle Paul is being persecuted. How can we not afford to speak the truth in love and still be judgmental when it comes to dealing with our sinning brethren? Right? Speak the truth in love. Kapatid, alam ko, may, alam ko, mali ang ginagawa ko. Ako, nagkakamali din ako, nagulog ako sa kasalanan. Pero, mali yung ginagawa mo, hindi ka nakakalagod sa Panginoon. Kapatid, mahal kita, hindi mo dapat ginagawa yan. Diba? Kasi hindi ka nakakalagod sa Panginoon. You are a work in progress. I, I too am a work in progress. Right? There's nothing that we can boast. In fact, we should boast in our weaknesses. Basically, because when we boast in our weaknesses, we boast and glory in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is imputed as the righteousness that we don't deserve, right? Amen. Praise God. Okay? Albert Barnes, one of the greatest commentators of the scripture, said, The readiest way to judge of the imperfections of others is to be free from the greater ones of ourselves. Before we judge, Naikaw, imperfect ka. We must first realize that we too are imperfect because no one is perfect. Why should Christians not engage in hypocritical judgment? Yeah. Bakit nga ba? As believers in Christ, how come we do not have the reason? Yes, we have all the reasons to be, to be judgmental in terms of, of discerning what is right and what is wrong. However, how come we Christians, on the other hand, should not engage in hypocritical type of judgment? First, I submit to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are not God. Alright? You think you're God? <laughs> we are not God. Definitely for a man to understand God would be impossible. Just an ant to comprehend a man just is the same thing as a man trying to comprehend God. You see the analogy, guys? We are not God. And one of the characteristics of God in life and what the Word of God tells us, only God is Omniscient. Right? What does being omniscient mean? You are all, all what? All knowing. 